Great Friday, family. Ooh, you see that? Ooh, 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 ooh. I remember when I ain't had no chest. <laughs> Yo, check it, family. I gotta understand this. The system controllers, they have never really cared about the people. All right? Governments are set in place to govern the mind of a populace. That's why they're called government. Government. Govern mind. Gobernadores de mente. You know what I'm saying? They're not they're not there to in a sense baby you. They're put in place to govern the mind. Now governments were instituted initially, you know, if we if we think about if we think about going to the beginning, right? And we try to look at the purpose of governments to begin with, right? We find that more often than not, even though governments are the number one facilitators of genocide, of mass killing and so on and so forth, because they govern such a great number of individual minds, we also find that they were not really put in place to be to facilitate the slaughter of people. They were really put in place, or they have been put in place really, to facilitate the right governing of people. You know what I'm saying? To, in a sense, keep the people safe from individuals that seek to use their power, their influence, to control, misdirect, and, you know, misguide and maintain a populist, gullible, uninformed, deterred, you know, feeling hopeless. But governments are not our enemy, you know? And the reason that it appears like these governmental institutions are not serving their purpose is because individuals like you and I that do have the capacity, the qualities, and the ability to understand these things and to have a positive impact in life, on life, through our own life, we have kept ourselves from these positions of authority for fear of either being judged or of not becoming like the individuals that we see doing the wrong that we don't like. You know what I'm saying? So because of our ignorance, because of our inability to step up and instead we shy away, individuals that do not care about violating their moral values and ethical principles because they have none, they have stepped up. You know, they have taken it upon themselves to utilize these, these, um, these tools of control to in a way, you know, enhance their own goals. You know what I'm saying? So get that, yo. Governments, they're not the enemy of other people, but we have made we have made governments into our enemies because we kept ourselves from participating in these political processes of which we all have a role to play in. Alright? It is a government of the people and for the people, not a government uh, by itself at the detriment and expense of the people, all right? It's become that because we've avoided our duty as human beings to our fellow citizens, to our children, to, the, to their posterity and ours to, you know, be responsible. So at the end of the day, we need to take some accountability, all right? We can't continue to blame government institutions for, for them doing, or we can't continue to blame the government institutions for humans' ability to be so gullible and so greedy and so easily prone to evils, all right? That, that's just natural human human tendency, all right? We, we, we're like, we, we focus on survival. We're all about surviving. And because we're an organism that, you know, seeks its own survival and its own self-preservation, we're easily manipulated and controlled. 
and misdirected by fear, by our lack of understanding of certain things. So if what we don't understand can be used against us, right? So our ignorance now is being used against us, the collective, you know what I'm saying? A lot of us are aware of what's going on and we're aware that these things have been going on for, you know, a few centuries, maybe even a few millennia, but we're just one little individual, you know what I'm saying? In, in, a, in a mass collective. So we can only have, uh, you know, our impact is only so, it can only be so great, you know? And we can only impact others as much as we've impacted ourselves. So if we haven't worked on ourselves, no matter how hard we want the world to change, how, no matter how much we pray and how many things we sacrifice or whatever the hell for it, until we change ourselves, we're not gonna be able to change the world or have an impact on the world that produces mass change. So it all begins with self, you know what I'm saying? So the reason I work out every day is because I understand that I'm a man and as a man, I should be tilling my soil every day. And if I don't have any, any soil, any physical soil to till, I at least have my body. And my body is a soil in itself, you know, it's an extension of the earth. So I should at least be tilling this soil every day, body, mind, and spirit, you know, relationships and financially, business, entrepreneurial, whatever it is, you know, giving back to the community wise. So that's it. You know, I just wanted to bring that little insight as it relates to government, politics, our duty as human beings to ourselves, to our children, to our family, to our community, to the planet. You know what I'm saying? We got to play our part. We cannot play our part and then. Nah, I'm going to get back to this bag.